Bore bore treat you. It was nice. <laughs> it was a good one. Yeah. yeah. So there for like a week. It was it was amazing. Yeah. You're nice and relaxed now. Yeah. Nice and relaxed. Yeah, there you go. Good to be back though. Yeah. How different is it going through an off season where you're like you're an actual professional? You don't have to worry about the draft and like you can focus entirely on. It's a huge game changer. Like you know, like the rookies that came in this last weekend, I haven't even got a chance to be around them that much just because they're in the same bubble that we were last year, where it's like they're here for us and leave after us like they're just so busy and right now I just kind of get the opportunity to take care of business and like go about my day so it's a lot different. Yeah, you, you were so good last year that the obvious question now is how do you get better? I mean, what, what is a better Rashawn than today to look like? I feel like you know, I watch the tape and there's just all sorts of things like I, I kind of look at the tape and a lot of it kind of makes me cringe just because I know like you know there's like detail and technique and sometimes I'll be like this close but like there's always that little room for improvement and it can make a big difference so for me it's like I just try to focus on what I can do to get better like a little thing every single play. Do you go back and watch every one of your snaps and how do you how do you approach that? Yeah I try to kind of work my way back through the season and just take notes on what I see and stuff like that. With the rookies we're showing up Zion and Jim here what do you tell the guys for advice? Uh, just kind of trust themselves, you know, like the same thing that got them here is what's going to allow them to continue to succeed. So they can't, they can't lose sight of that, you know, in all of this. They got to be able to, you know, trust in their technique, trust in what brought them here and just keep their head down at work and they'll get their opportunity to come camp. And just, what was your lasting memory from your rookie season? Uh, kind of just the progression of, because I sat out of that last year of college, so it all kind of blended together for me. Um, that whole process of, you know, preparing for the draft and then kind of getting into camp and like, oh, shoot, I got to go against Joey and like, I don't know, it was kind of like a journey. Uh, like every single week being able to like challenge myself and being a part of the offense that we were, like it was so exciting every single week because I knew if I did my job then everyone behind me was going to, you know, make explosive plays and stuff like that. So I was really just trying to focus on me. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun though. How do you like working with uh, Coach Newton? Yeah, yeah, Nuge is awesome. Um, same kind of coaching tree as Frank was, so a lot of the same techniques and stuff, but he's he's awesome. He's got a lot of, a lot of jokes. He's a funny guy, but he's also really uh, like precise with technique. You know, he's, he's really driven by technique, which I like a lot. How was the uh, Pro Bowl experience? It was fun. It was really cool to be around uh, all those guys and like to be able to chill instead of it being so intense, like a game-like environment, being able to joke around. It was really eye-opening. And did you make any friends or any, any new connections that anybody had? Um, so I actually ended up getting like food poisoning while I was there. Oh, and so <laughs> we're in Vegas, so like no one would believe me. So I was kind of like, <laughs> I was kind of staying in my room for a little bit of it, but it was a lot of fun. So, so you know, what, what did you eat? Do you? Uh, I, I think it was a, uh, I don't want to try anything, but I think it was <laughs> some uh, bad chicken or something. <laughs> So did you did you pull anybody aside at the Pro Bowl to kind of talk to them about uh, this second season, your sophomore year, if you will, and how to approach it, to, or get any advice of any any kind from any uh, veterans in the league? Yeah, we we talk technique. You know, I talked a lot to you know some of the guys from AFC, like you know Wyatt Teller, Antonio. Uh, well, I still talk about the Corey guys like that, but just kind of picked everyone's brains because there's some some stuff I see on film that I've always kind of wondered about. So whenever there was an opportunity, I'd ask a question or something. Are you been training with Trey Pipkin uh, with uh, Coach Boo? Yeah. Talk to you guys. How's that been with Trey? It's been great. You know, I feel like, you know, Trey looks really good. You know, I, I know how I feel about training back there. I feel like I get a lot done every single season. Boo's great. Um, and I feel like Trey felt the same way. We got some really good work in. Did you sort of invite Trey to that? Is that how that sort of worked out? Just being teammates last year? Or? Uh, no, Trey, Trey, uh, Trey kind of asked me about it. I think it was something that he planned to do. It was a, it was nice having one of my teammates on there, but it was all straight. Now I know you talked to me last year about uh, how your your wife has been a big part of your transition here to Southern California. Um, how's marriage life now? Is it any different? Is it what you anticipated? Yeah, I mean, I uh, we have been living together since pretty much quarantine started, and so like we 
we kind of already like plan out and stuff. So I, not that much changed. Uh, just getting married, you know, we're still living together and all that. But it's been great. You know, she's been a huge help to me throughout everything, like from pre-draft to draft, just like everyday life. You know, it's like nice having a, like my best friend living with me all the time. Um, so it's been great. That's cool. Any Thanks. part of you? Uh, Excited to block the knife in training camp? Yes. <laughs> I think I think the day after uh, that happened, I was on my honeymoon and Coach Staley texted me like, get your mind right. <laughs> <laughs> Try to enjoy this right now. <laughs> it's all this actually right here. I'm going to put this down. <laughs>